question we have to ask ourselves. Does God really mean what he says? Can he be trusted? And is it worth following the one he sent, his son Jesus? I think a lot of Christians walk around telling people how they should live, thinking that they're living, thinking that some things are in the Bible when they're actually not. You should do a DBS if you want to get to know who God is. Jesus says about scripture, you search the scriptures because you think they give you life. You don't realize the scriptures point to me. I think DBS left me with a lot of amazing tools of how to continue to just open the Bible and look for God in the scriptures, as well as a knowledge of how it's a continuous story. From Genesis 1-1 to the end of Revelation, it's all pointing back to the same person. Whether you have questions about, is God really good? Is he just a punisher of all people in the Old Testament and a happy-go-lucky God in the New? If you come to the DBS, you can really see it is the same God from beginning to end. A DBS is th three months of getting to know the Bible as a continuous story, that it's all telling the same story, it's all pointing to the same God. And it's how God created humanity, how humanity chose to walk away from God, chose themselves over their creator, but God continuously chasing after them because he wants them back. The heart of DBS is to see throughout scripture who God really is and how he is very, very consistent. How he desires to live with his people as he did in the garden, with the tabernacle, with the temple, and when he came in bodily form as Jesus, and when he sent forth his spirit to live in us. But how it transformed me as I left on that graduation day with my diploma is I was never more hungry to study the Bible as I was closing it after finishing Revelation. It was like, because I had finished the entire book, it made me that much more willing and hungry to read it all over again and be like, okay, now that I have the gist of it and the understanding of it as a whole, what are all the little pieces and cracks that I'm missing? And how do I fill those in? And how do I understand more of this God that he's constantly introducing to humanity?